Taylor. I'm an extension agent intern and today we're going to be making chickpea chocolate cake. For this recipe, you can either use a circle 9x9 cake pan or we're going to use a square 9x9 pan. The first step is to preheat the oven to 350 degrees, but also to prepare your pan. So we're going to use nonstick spray and gently apply it so that the cake doesn't stick to the pan. The first step to this recipe is to take a cup and a half of semi-sweet chocolate chips and melt them until smooth in a microwave safe bowl. Chocolate chips can be tricky to melt because they don't always melt into each other right away. They need a little bit of stirring. So always stir in between each increment in the microwave. So melting the cup and a half of chocolate chips should only take between 30 to 45 seconds. Take your bag of chocolate chips and gently pour a half a cup, dumping it into your bowl, and then pouring it into your one cup until full and dump it into the bowl. Then, like I said, 30 seconds stir and then 15 to 30 seconds more. Taking your can opener, simply grab the lip of the can and squeeze until you hear it pop and then twist all the way around. Once your can of chickpeas is opened, take a strainer and gently open the can of beans. Be careful because the lid is sharp and then pour them over the sink into the strainer. With cool water, gently rinse the chickpeas so that you're removing all of the extra sodium and things that we don't need in our chocolate cake. Once the beans are rinsed, gently shake them to remove the excess water. Adding chickpeas to the chocolate cake is a great way to get healthy proteins into your diet. Once you have your food processor set out, assemble it according to how it's supposed to go. Usually, a blade goes right in the middle, but be careful because this blade is very sharp. The next step is to take your strainer of chickpeas and gently pour them into your food processor. Once the chickpeas are in, gently crack your egg on the counter and open it into the food processor. Repeat this with the rest of the eggs. Once all the eggs are in, blend it until smooth. Once the egg and chickpeas are blended together and smooth, Remove the lid and add in your sugar and baking powder. We're going to be using three quarters of a cup of sugar. So here's a quarter cup, gently shaking it to remove the excess, pouring it in, and then a half a cup more. Again, gently shaking to remove the excess. teaspoon of baking powder and gently scraping it along the top to remove the excess. Once the sugar and baking powder are in, blend it again just until everything is combined. baking powder are combined into the chickpea and egg. Remove the lid and taking your melted chocolate, pour it into the mixture.
Making sure to use a rubber scraper or spatula always helps save and get all the ingredients into the bowl. Once these are in, blend it one more time for about 10 seconds. Once it's blended, go ahead and take your prepared pan and then pour the mixture into the pan. That's all the batter is in the pan. Take your pan and using oven mitts if necessary, transfer it to your preheated oven. This cake bakes for 40 minutes. Once you've safely removed the cake from the oven, one good test to see if it's done is to take a toothpick and gently poke it right in the middle. If it comes out clean, or barely any on there, it's done. Let it cool for about 20 minutes, and then cut in and enjoy!